So I don't know if anyone else has experienced the same thing, but I often come to these like profound realizations when I'm driving or in my car. I drive a lot day to day um, for my day job and I'm always thinking and pondering life. And one of the things that I've been thinking about this past year is how easy it is to get into a mental rut and keep repeating the same thought patterns over and over sort of in an abstract way that basically prevents you from pursuing the things that you ultimately want to do. And as it relates to hunting, one of my inspirations for doing this channel was to basically push me as a new hunter who started later in life to really just get out there and experience hunting because it's one of the things that I have found which brings me profound joy and stimulates my curiosity. And I think oftentimes it's easy to hold myself back because I have preconceived notions about what it means to be a new hunter and that maybe, you know, I don't have the experience to get out there and start duck hunting, for example, because, well, where am I going to start? I don't have any of the equipment where I don't have any of the mentors, whatever. All these sort of psychological barriers that I think prevent you from ultimately pursuing the things that you want to do. And I think once you start to deconstruct it and be more mindful of those tendencies, you start to realize how ridiculous and irrational they really are. So yeah, one of my goals personally this year is to basically just be more mindful of the stories that I tell myself, because I think this applies broadly to life, not just necessarily hunting, but that we all tell ourselves stories and these stories really become our reality. You know, we're in our routine, we're going to work, we have specific ideas of who we are, how we relate to the world. And oftentimes, even though it does serve a practical purpose for getting things done day to day, these stories that we tell ourselves can actually hold us back from just being present in the moment and just experiencing the beauty in the moment. And this is just like a silly example, but because I drive so much, I often listen to podcasts or I'm always thinking about things, listening to something, music, bumping out, whatever, um, just because I spend so much time driving from client to client and I need to basically entertain myself. But even on those drives, I can be distracted from all of the beauty that's in front of me. I live in upstate New York and today even I decided to just turn my music off and just look around at the mountains, look around at the sun rising. And literally just from doing that for a few minutes, I felt this immense sense of calm that came over me and I was able to really just get in touch with my core self without all of the distractions. And I think everybody can relate to this because we're all so distracted. And these distractions, these routines that we're in are ultimately what prevent us from experiencing the beauty around us. So my quick tip to you is to start being more mindful and realize that the only thing that's getting in the way of you pursuing your passions and the things that you wanna do as it relates to new hunting activities or anything in life, the only thing that's holding you back is the stories that you tell yourself. Often it can just be a quick exercise of being mindful and your perspective can change immensely. And you realize, you know what? I can do this. I might not be an expert, but I can go ahead and pursue it. And I'm just gonna get in there and do it. And I'm not gonna necessarily have a plan. We can often over plan things and overthink things. Just go in there with a basic framework and start, just do it. Anything in your life, not just a new hunting activity. And I think everybody can benefit from this, myself included. Anyway, thanks for listening to the random rant I had. Sometimes I like to just get this stuff off of my chest. It really helps me digest some of the thoughts that I've been thinking of. And I hope that these insights also help you along on your journey. All right, I gotta head out for work. I am the adult onset hunter, but don't worry, I'm not the only adult onset hunter. I know there's many more of you out there like me who also started hunting later in life. We'll see you next time. Cheers.